I'm Nicole Arbor, and this is Spooky Month Arbor Effect. Uh, 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 uh. We'll put in like thunder and lightning and like an effect in there, right? We can do that. To me, one of the spookiest things in the world is the government being wrong about healthcare over and over and over. So when I hear about a natural product that's being shunned, frowned upon, talk shit about. I'm instantly intrigued. The rules of this episode were, if I think by the end of the interview that Sovereign Silver is not real, if I think you're selling snake oil, if I think it's complete BS, I'm going to tell my audience that. So welcome to a special episode on the power or BS of silver products. Mm. Ooh, spooky. Natural remedies. Uh, uh, uh. Natural remedies are making a massive comeback. From oils to herbs to wave tech, it seems like the public is sick of being sick and sick of prescription chemicals that don't seem to work. Which shouldn't be that controversial, but apparently it is. Natural remedies are routinely hit with investigations, FDA blocks, warnings, and sometimes even wiped from the internet, even if customers love the results. One product I saw blowing up on social media during was Sovereign Silver. Yeah, silver. Half the internet was obsessed with the health benefits they found with the brand's products. The other half said they're full of shit and using it could be dangerous. What I know is if anyone even discusses it, the media seems to attack. So today, the Go Team Academy welcomes Theo Quinto, co-president of the number one selling silver product in America to answer the big questions and find out if they're selling BS or an ancient remedy in a new way. Theo Quinto, welcome to the Arbor Effect and Go Team Academy. Woohoo! Yeah, yeah. So excited, so excited to be excited. here. I'm so excited to have you. This is amazing. I got to be real with you because I'm going to be real this whole time. Most people, when I told them I was having you on the show, said you're full of shit and your product is snake oil. Many people, you know, comment on things they have, they, they know nothing about. They haven't researched and maybe they read some article somewhere and who knows what the agenda was and... That's the outcome for them. There's a lot of agendas. And I think a lot of people don't realize that we're constantly marketed to, especially in medicine or natural wellness or anything to do with our health. Like everything is marketing all the time. So when someone has a strong reaction, which I'm going to tell you what my audience said about this stuff after, when there's a strong reaction like this, I'm like, wow, there's got to be some counter marketing going on. Have you encountered any of that? Like, why do you think your brand has been hit with this, don't try it, don't even try it, when you Google it. You know what? Um, I think there's quite a bit of PR, public relations against the, these type of products, this category, because at the end of the day, the system, they don't want people to be informed at the level that they could be. And so if you put up the wrong information, or let's just say information that dissuades people from even coming into the category, well, then you're sending them back to their doctors. So they get more money. Mm. Yes, I understand how this works. I'm really sorry that I started with the snake oil thing, but I felt like I had to. You know what? Snake oil, it's an interesting concept. Um, <clears throat> way back when, when that term came about, it was because people couldn't wrap their heads around that one thing could do that many different things. And it's absolutely possible. When you take a look at this product right here, Sovereign Silver or Sovereign Copper, there's such a myriad uh, of uses, list of uses, that it's kind of mind blowing and it's freeing, you know? to know that one thing or a couple things can do 20 things. It kind of reminds me of vitamin C. Like I remember years and years ago, people being like, mm, you don't really have to take vitamin C. Just take this like little Flintstone vitamin. That'll do everything for you. I'm like, no, no, your body needs vitamin C if you want to fight anything. Absolutely. Hmm. Linus Pauling. Say that again? Linus Pauling. He was the big uh, researcher behind all that, big scientist. I wonder how long they called him a liar and snake oil salesman for. So I knew you were coming on the show. I was very excited. So was I. Hello. And I asked my audience if they've ever heard of Sovereign Silver and their reactions told me a lot. Yes, I swear by it. Topical, ingested, worked on my strep and both of my kids. Yes, use it for scratchy throats, eye infections, ear pain. Yes, love it. Topical and ingest. Yes, works like a charm. There was hundreds and I didn't know this many of my followers love your products. Hundreds of them. Makeup artists that I work with said that they were taught to carry it in their kits because if someone gets a little cut or they're shaving and their beard gets scratched, 
they put the sovereign silver products on sure. and it heals really quick. Yeah. Three times faster. Three times faster. In the 1960s, silver became the standard of care in burn centers worldwide because of the fact that it can regenerate or heal up to three times faster. Okay. When I think silver, I think, you know, getting it cheap in Mexico because you can. I've never thought about, I want to ingest this. Okay. So... Where is it found in the diet? All water, spring water, tap water, salt water has silver in it. Mammalian breast milk has silver in it already by nature. Um, mushrooms and things like uh, grains, all that has silver already in it. But we know that the farming practices are horrible. We're not getting what we need out of food anymore. So therefore you have to supplement. And that's why the supplement industry exists because people are not getting enough of whatever they need. And so in the case of sovereign silver, what my father figured out was he created, he was able to invent uh, a very unique manufacturing method, which basically takes silver, the, the metal, but it has to be extremely pure. And you run electrolysis, electrolysis through it, and that breaks it down into the water. And that's how the only thing I know in. about electrolysis <laughs> is like removing hair in the 80s. Oh, well, yeah, thank God. Right? For the Bush era, <laughs> literally. Huh. Okay, how do you. That was a tough era to live through. Oh, for I'm, those who did it. I'm so sorry. Not me. I'm so sorry for you. <laughs> yeah. Um, how do you electrolysize silver? What does that mean? <clears throat> we buy silver from a refiner. So we go to a refiner and say, hey, we're looking to buy silver, but it must be five nines percent pure silver. So 99.999% pure. Why that pure? Because we don't want anything else in the metal. We require extreme purity. And then it comes into the process and basically using electricity through the metal to break it down microscopically into the water. And that's how it gets there. That sounds really sciencey <laughs> and awesome. Um, I read online that the difference between what you're selling and what other companies that probably have really, really bad reputation sell is the way in which it's diffused through the water and how many particles are in each nano. Come on, jump yes. in here. Let, let me, let, let me, uh, let me clarify you. this. So. We're the reason we're number one both in the US and in Canada. Bow, is, bow, 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 bow. Yeah. Can, is because, just, just do this when you yeah. say that, please. Yes, 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 yes. The yes. reason we're number one in market share, both in the US and Canada, is because we have the world's smallest particle size, most amount of particle charge energy. <clears throat> the purity of the product is second to none, glass bottles and pharmaceutical grade water. And then, of course, the silver that we start with is five nines percent pure. So that's what makes us basically the Rolls Royce of efficacy in the category. I like that. They're the Rolls Royce. Who I, I want to be the Rolls Royce of something. I will be. I am. I just don't know what yet. Working on that right now. Use You're there already. Again. Reading up on silver, I was like, does this have something to do with babies and silver spoons? I'm going to take you back to the Middle Ages in Europe. Remember the bubonic de Black Death Plague? I mean, I wasn't there but I've heard. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hi, I look great. <laughs> so that uh, pandemic at the time uh, basically killed millions and millions of people in Europe. But who did it kill? It killed the peasants. It killed the poor people. Why didn't it affect the nobility, the rich people? Because they ate off of silver plates. They used silver utensils. They had silver goblets. So when they were drinking and eating their foods and cutting and scraping, they constantly had all kinds of silver coming into the body. They didn't know it exactly, but that's what was occurring. And Whoa. because of that, it gave them a level of protection that unfortunately the poor people didn't have. Whoa. So what was the learning lesson? We survived the pandemic at a level that the other people did not. Therefore, whenever there's a newborn in the family and it gets past the breastfeeding stage, three months, six months, whatever that is, it should only ever eat off a silver spoon. And that's why cultured families gift other families a silver spoon for that infant to ultimately eat off of. Born with a silver spoon in your mouth. And that's where that comes from. Cool. Oh my gosh. Those poor plague people. People's connection thinks they, hey, born with a silver spoon in your mouth, you come from money. But it was actually more about health at the time. But the rich have better resources. The rich have better re uh, education. And so that's why they had silver. Health is wealth. So silver spoons, everybody. I had one as a kid, but I'm not sure if my family knew why we had it other than it was a status symbol. And it gets handed down generation to generation. So grandma, right on, you know, health is wealth. Health is wealth. Mm -hmm. We're winning. That's why we're here. How the heck did your family get into the silver, liquid silver business? Darn good question. 
Thank you. So dad's a genius entrepreneur, kind of like a renaissance guy. He's owned three different airlines. He's uh, an architect, engineer, so accomplished in life. Um, unfortunately, we lost him two years ago in uh, 2022. Um, but he was 87 years old. Um, and I'm sure he's looking down over all of us. So in the 60s, he built, uh, he was renovating a small castle in France. And it had this beautiful stone faced pool, waterfall coming into it. And because he always thought well outside the box, he didn't want to have to put chemicals or chlorine in there. So he wanted to know what else was there. And so he researched at the local with the local university and they connected him with a company that did a silver and copper ionization system to purify water in pools. And this is in the 60s. Well, that is amazing. OK, keep yeah. going. So, you know, he did that. It was amazing, uh, you know, chateau uh, in, in France. It had this beautiful pool. and could swim in it for, you know, five hours. Your hair wouldn't turn green because there's no chlorine. There's no carcin carcinogens really, in there. I would love that. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Especially for blondes, as mm -hmm. you know. Um, and then he completely forgot about that. And he went on to many other things in his life. And then in 1996, one of his accountants stopped by his uh, his house one day. I guess they had a beating or something. And it was the day that he, he decided and he told uh, my mom that he would no longer try to launch his fourth airline. So he was basically calling it quits in the airline industry and trying to figure out what next, what was going to be the next big thing for him. And that's when, you know, out of serendipity, uh, his, uh, an accountant stopped by his house and left this stack of paper on colloidal silver. That and is so random. And it's so random, but maybe not. Mm. Maybe it's all in divine order. So he spent the next several days reading through these couple inches thick of papers that was basically connecting him with the fact that, oh my God, there's a supplement on the market that's been around since the 1890s. And it's basically similar to the system that I put in a pool once upon a time, 30 years prior, mm -hmm. mind blown. And that's when he started to try to you know, figure out how he could make the product. Cool. That's mm -hmm. really fun. I like that story. It's an amazing story. Every Just hearing when people stumble into things like that, like a guy put a stack of papers, that is divine order. It is. That is. And with the way the product helps people too, it's almost like it was delivered. Exactly. And actually the manufacturing technique, the fact that we have the most advanced manufacturing method in the world and dad invented it, he also talked about how it came to him in divine downloads because of his connection to the universe and the fact that here we are to help humanity and to give them a tool that will make them more sovereign. I thought it was so crazy too when I was discussing you coming on to a couple of friends and they were like, silver, like ingesting silver. I was like, well, you ingest all these other minerals and you think nothing of it. Like, that's right. What do you put on your salad? You put salt. That's a rock from the earth or Himalayan sea salts, depending where you buy it. Yep. We ingest minerals all day, every day. All day, so every day. So what makes us think that copper and silver, which are the two that you work with mostly, right? Yep. Are bad for us. Like, do you guys just need better PR for silver? We're doing it anyways. I mean, well, constantly <laughs> we're awakening people to the fact that there's a healthier, better way to live and that they have to take control over their lives. Hence, again, sovereignty. The Queen mm. of England is sovereign. The Vatican is sovereign, meaning nobody else controls them. So why wouldn't you want that same type of power in your own life where you're not being manipulated or controlled by any outside party. Most consumers get confused between a heavy metal and a heavy toxic metal. So silver, yes, it's a heavy metal, but it's completely safe. It doesn't harm the, the mammalian body at all. Um, but you look at things like aluminum, lead, mercury, cadmium, and arsenic, and those things are super toxic and those are heavy toxic metals. And double underline the word toxic because it's terrible. Interesting. Mm. I think metal and heavy metal and toxic heavy metal. And I'm thinking like Metallica versus like Silverstein. <laughs> you just don't, you don't really want that anymore. Exactly. No offense, Silverstein. Exactly. What about ACDC? Uh, always great. <laughs> Is there any amount of sovereign silver that someone could take and a metal detector goes off? No. Okay. People ask that. This was a real question. But we were more interested of whether or not the metal detector would harm the silver or it's charge or efficacy and we haven't seen any de degradation there either interesting yeah so it's microscopic it's you're talking about a very small amount of silver so 10 parts per million is the concentration that means it's 10 parts silver to a million minus those 10 parts water so it's mostly water in fact only one one hundred thousandth of the liquid is silver everything else is water so it's incredibly minute and you don't need much to make things happen more is not better when it comes to silver
Okay, I want to talk about that because years ago I was going to try your products like years and years and I got really scared because I saw some photos online of people turning like blue and silver and then I saw these warnings about it. But what causes someone's skin and organs to turn blue or silver? There you go. <clears throat> so the, the condition is called Argyria. Okay. And it's a benign cosmetic skin condition that is thought to be irreversible. Well, I'm going to explain it to you. So if you take too much of the wrong form of silver, like homemade silver, imagine you know, people buy these $100, $200, $300 generators, and they think, oh, there's no reason to buy sovereign silver at $15 a bottle or $25 a bottle. I can just make it for pennies. Well, they're making it in their bathtub with God knows what quality of silver. Probably with their moonshine. No quality control. Yeah, yeah next to the moonshine. Yeah. And then whatever, by the time they have their potion, they're now drinking it by the glass full. Difference is with our product, it's always a teaspoon is a dose or maybe a tablespoon. Too much of the wrong form of silver, you ingest it. It gets caught up in the fatty layers of your skin. And because silver is photosensitive to sunlight, over time, the person turns this bluish, turns grayish color. Turns into the color. silver surfer. Either you're a silver surfer or you're going to go work for the blue man group. It could work. It might be the right time, but in tens and tens and tens of millions of bottles that we've sold, we don't have a single documented case of Argyria, but we don't want that anyways. So that goes back to our unique refinement of how we produce what we produce and how you could never. So you don't want silver that's bound to a salt or bound to a protein. That's a silver compound. And that's happening in these homemade colloidal silvers. Uh, you just saying all of this, it just, no offense, it's exhausting to think that I would have to be checking for those things when there's a product available that's already done it for me. I don't need to pretend to be a super scientist at everything. I just need to find the experts. So I'm glad we're talking. We totally support people wanting to do things at home, like organic farming. Go for it. But you're not going to make at home what we make in a multi-million dollar laboratory setting with the ultimate quality control standards and specifications. Do you want me to hand you something so you could drop it after you said that? <laughs> Just like drop Mike. your bottle of silver? Where's my mic? No, don't. Don't do that. <laughs> um, that's interesting about the, the blue thing because the blue skin thing came up a lot. And knowing like in my mind now, I'm like, oh, yeah, I lived in Nashville for years. I could see the backwoods people doing that in the tub and drinking it and then that gets on the internet and then they think that that's what's going to happen to everybody so that's the ultimate pr against the category and dissuading people not to come in silver is not safe it's not effective and it's going to turn you blue and that's just not true you will not be a smurf i'm so sorry to tell you that'd be kind of fun though just for like one day um something interesting i saw in the bad pr side too was I believe it was the Mayo Clinic, and I'm going to just paraphrase this now, okay? So nobody sue me for this. It'd be stupid to do that. They basically were saying that we can't, we can't say if this works or not because there's not enough studies, but then products that were being put out were actively being attacked by um, sometimes the Food and Drug Administration, sometimes different organizations because they say there's not enough studies. So why wouldn't they just invest money in the studies? Here's an interesting dilemma. Okay, so in America, the Food and Drug Administration, they oversee and they regulate supplements. And their position is that silver is not safe and not effective. And Why? it might turn you blue. Okay. That's their position. Okay. But if you walk across the border into Canada, your country, in 2012, Health Canada approved our products and gave us an NHPD number, a natural health uh, product number and therefore proving and telling us that we were safe and effective. And in fact, in 2012, Sovereign Silver became the first silver product ever anywhere in the world to, to receive approval by a federal agency. In this case, it was Health Canada. So you step one foot in Canada and one foot in the US. Let's just say you're straddling the line there. I've done that, it's fun, <laughs> yeah. One agency says it's not safe and effective and the other one says it's absolutely safe and effective. This is what I find ridiculous just about the health and wellness space and the supplement space is there can be different supplements that come from the earth that we know through centuries like this one have a positive effect on humans, but the agencies will still say they don't know. However, those same agencies will poison us with something that they have approved. And then later on be like, oh, my bad. You mean like Vioxx? Uh, right. Like like food and drug. Every day you hear of a new drug that they poisoned us. They literally told us it was okay. And then later we get a whoops and maybe a class action. How about glyphosate in food everywhere, which is a total carcinogen. Bad. Active ingredient in Roundup. 
So what the heck is that doing to our guts? Destroying it. No, stop it. <laughs> Quit it. It's approved. It's approved. That's fine. It's approved by the EPA. I'm going to say this over here as to not in, put the brand as part of this. You know what else was approved? All the vaccines that now they're like, oh, oh, maybe those weren't safe. You know what else is approved? Oh, Zempic that I personally have friends that are already having massive issues with and all these other drugs that are approved. Topamax Sprinkle is a drug that was approved that I was given for severe chronic pain after my car accident. I saw actual skeletons, heads on mannequins chattering and telling me to kill myself. And then a life-size dragon with its tail wrapped around H&M and these voices were in my head telling me, you're never going to get better. You have to kill yourself after one pill. And I was in the right mind enough to go, this is an extra voice in my head that's not my voice. That drug is still on the market. It's safe and effective. Antidepressant? Um, I think it was under antidepressant and anti-inflammatory. They were giving it for two different things. And it's still out there. So when I hear something that's natural is maybe not effective... That makes me automatically think, holy shit, it must be really effective because they're scared of it because if it's natural, they can't own the patent for it. So with all these people saying this works and it's a natural product, do you have any patents to protect it? So we chose not to patent it because it's so advanced, so sophisticated that, and as you probably know, patents run out after 20 years and that's when all the generics of things start popping up. And so we didn't want to put out how we do it to the world because we felt that we'd be in a court of law all the time trying to defend it from maybe it being stolen in India or China or wherever in the world. And so we wanted to really just focus on having the best product in its class ever and selling it and growing it, its awareness. Cool. Why do you think that we act like these machines don't know how to fix themselves with a, a little bit of help? Well, I mean, think about it. You, you, you do an oil change to your car every 3,000 miles. What are you doing for the body? So, I mean, if you were to just treat your body like you do your car, it would probably be, <clears throat> it'd probably behave better than it, it does today. And garbage in, garbage out. We have to reduce all this stuff. We have to get rid of the chemicals. We have to get rid of the garbage. You have to live a cleaner, more healthier life. Go to the gym, get active, eat and buy organics. I know it's difficult, but you know what? If everybody was doing it, it would get a lot cheaper because it would be everywhere. That is so true. If everybody started eating organic, it would be cheaper for everybody. And I always tell everybody that like prevention is a lot cheaper than having to pay to fix it. So buying organic now is way cheaper than buying pills forever and being stuck on dialysis. I can assure you one of the problems, no matter how much money you have, when it comes to whatever time and you're fighting whatever illness, most people give their last dollar to beat that illness. So what was the point of just having money when you could have adopted all these strategies much earlier on? Exactly. That's what I'm trying to tell you guys. Okay. <laughs> Is it ever hard for you working in an industry where there's people actively trying to disprove what you have and you know it's great, but they're trying to make you look bad? You can't lead every horse to the water and make it drink. You know, some will drink, some won't. And, you know, it's up to them if they want to back The off. rest of them are thirsty bitches. That's what you're trying to say? <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah. Thank you. That's what I was waiting for. <laughs> so what he's trying to say is fuck the haters. Just keep it going. But I do want to shake people sometimes. So do we. Really? Who Absolutely. do you want to shake? I mean, we want them to understand that, you know, you cannot divest your decision making to other people. You've got to do the homework. You've got to read. You've got to educate yourself. All about health sovereignty and the journey towards health freedom, because you have to be free, free. And the healthier you are, the more free you are. It's true. And I, I always say to people too, like if your doctor could help you with what they're doing, with the prescriptions, making it rain on you, they would have done it by now. So I know some people that have taken prescription drugs for 10, 15 years, and they, they hold on to that like it's their identity. Like, oh no, I have this and I have to take these for it. And I go, well, has it worked yet? Because because if it hasn't worked yet, you should probably try something else. It's like dating someone who you don't get along with. And eventually you got to be like, hey, this isn't working. You got to go. You got to go. And I'm going to try some Sovereign Silver and see what these 65,000 other people are saying. Here's what's interesting. Nature has always been there. And we have survived how many millennia? And what? not only millennia, but hundreds of thousands of years, millions of years. The planet's been around for four billion years. Or maybe four and a half Depends billion if you years. talk to Christians or mm. Mormons. It Here's depends. what's interesting. Yeah. This is going to be very, a very big takeaway for your, your, um, your audience. The earth is four and a half billion years old. If you look at the medical literature about silver, 
anywhere in the medical literature or any historical reference, there is no known resistance to silver of any microorganism. So there's no resistance. And that just shows you the power of nature. But antibiotics, as an example, there's all kind of multi-drug resistant organisms now because they've taught themselves to resist antibiotics. That mechanism doesn't exist for silver. Ooh, it's like a freaking sword. It's just, uh, clink, clink. Another silver drop. Wait a minute, this has pets. Yep. You can give this to your pets. Absolutely. So the same exact product you give to your, well, that humans take or ch uh, kids take, um, same thing for your pets. It's the same exact formula. Years ago, I was probably in grade six. I did a science fair project and like won huge awards for showing what was in pet food and the ash that you're just feeding your pets ash and garbage and all this stuff. It's kibble. Like, yeah, garbage. kibble. This is why your pets are dying in a couple of years. So you realize if you put garbage in, you're going to suffer the consequences. Tastes good at the beginning. Yeah. Long term of consequences. Even like six <laughs> chips in, your mouth hurts now. That's how I feel about Cool Ranch. But I was going to say it's cool though that it's the same formula because what I found was when I started feeding my pets food that was the same as people food, just like meat and protein and vegetables, my cat lived to 19 and wow. the vet didn't believe it was her, like when we took her back. So having it be the exact same formula means a lot. It doesn't mean you're crapping you it down. You probably saw the the coat, the hair of the cat look much better, more shiny. And she lasted till 19, which is huge life. I know. You know? She was fabulous. I loved her. A little <laughs> like Siamese kitty. She was very cute. I just want you to know that WebMD says you're not safe. So yeah, they also say that I have every disease known to mankind currently at this moment. So <laughs> just want you to know. Hey, we respectfully disagree. You WebMD. What do they say about Wikipedia CIA fact book? Really? Yeah. Mm. Com com completely controlled and manipulated all the information. My Wikipedia has been wrong for so many years. So many years. Oh, and yeah. We try and get it fixed and then someone changes it back. So I'm like, yeah, whatever. Sure. That's it's, where I'm hey, from. It's that's... all done on purpose. There's design behind it all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what are the top uses for sovereign silver? So there's, there's two parts of the line. We have the topical gels under topical healing that you'll see as a first aid gel or a skincare gel. They're the same product, whether you look at the pets, whether you look at the, the humans, the first aid, or even the skincare, the pet gel is amazing. All of our gels, you'll never use anything topically ever again. First aid gel fights minor skin infection, promotes healing, calms skin inflammation, reduces topical pain. If you're already taking this, cool. Thank you for teaching me about it and contributing online when I posted about it. If you're new to Sovereign Silver, like I'm going to say about a lot of products and people who come in to go Team Academy, just try it. Just try it. Try it with your family. Try it with your pets and see, because the worst that can happen is it's not as wonderful as everyone has said, 65,000 people. I'm going to keep saying that number because it's a big number. And the best is that you have an amazing reaction and you don't have to maybe take all of the other things that aren't natural that you were taking that's hurting your body in the long run. Because there's nothing that is foreign that we can put into our bodies that's going to be good for us in the long run. 65,000 reviews on Amazon. Could you imagine a restaurant with 65,000 reviews? Why aren't there more reviews? It's because this is affecting people at a level that uh, whatever the meal at whatever restaurant doesn't affect them at the same level. It's a bigger light bulb moment, much bigger. Okay, have you ever written a review on Yelp? Yeah. Yeah, okay, I've written maybe two in my life and it's only because they were really bad. <laughs> I think that, what? Which one was <laughs> How dare you? I know, but this fish was like, <laughs> this fish was old. It was bad and we, we got food poisoning. And I was like, you can't serve people bad fish. Absolutely not. Of all the restaurants I've eaten in all of my life, I've done two reviews and that's it. So for someone to actually go online, log in and be like, I'm going to put a comment on this business. And these comments are amazing. It must have been a game changer. Ah. Uh. Yes. You're sounding less and less like you're full of shit by the minute. <laughs> I want to talk the history of silver because that's something else that I saw. Where did all of this start? I've seen it linked to Greece. I've seen it linked to the Middle Ages. What do you know? Thousands of years of history. In fact, there's probably no material that has a longer history. So it shows up everywhere. Let's go to Hippocrates, the father of medicine, 400 BC. He's why we have medicine today and what everything refers back to. You so, take his oath. Exactly, yeah. um, the Hippocratic Oath. He was using the finest powders of silver to treat stomach ulcers and other maladies at the time. That's two and a half thousand years ago. 
I have a hard time thinking, like imagining life a hundred years ago. But how did he know to do that when it wasn't FDA approved? <laughs> it probably didn't work. The FDA didn't come to come into existence until like 1938. How did people survive before then? That's a good question. So I heard about that. So that's Hippocrates. And then what else was so there? So then, then there's know? born with a silver spoon in your mouth in the Middle Ages, 1300. Around 1880, silver nitrate became the standard of treating eye infections in newborns. Why? Because as the newborn is comes out via the birth canal, if the mother had any infection or whatever, or STD, the baby could pick it up in the eyes. And so the first thing they do when the baby is born is they put silver drops in the eyes to kill anything that could have been there and that the mom gave it on the way out. Speaking of STDs, and I never want to say that phrase again. <laughs> okay, this is the worst segue I've ever had. I saw someone say online, this was a girl, this is going to get a little ratchet, that she dipped tampons in your product when she had a lady infection, and then she put it where it goes, left it there, and by the next day she was fine. Have yeah. Yeah, you just say yeah. Well, I'm I'm saying that we've had thousands, maybe tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of people experiment with this product every which way you could possibly think. The bottom line is, it looks like water, it behaves like water, it dries like water. So you can use it anywhere you choose. We can't even tell you to put it in places that you might experiment by yourself. Because it'd but be I weird can, on the packaging. But I can tell you this: <laughs> every morning you wake exactly. Every morning you wake up and you splash your face with water, what's in the water that you're splashing your face that's going into everywhere on your face and your body? What's in there? Depends that where you That you just live. take for granted. I'm scared, <laughs> I'm scared. If you're in Michigan, like closer to Flint, it's probably not probably not good water. That's not great. Interesting, so have you, had you heard of that ladies using it for lady products? Yeah, we have a, a lot of gynecologists that work with our products and use it on all kinds of ways. And they see results that are just mind boggling. Cool. Yeah. Mind-bogglingly effective. Man, you're, you're honestly the worst gotcha guest I could have ever <laughs> had ever because there were people and I got all these messages being like, don't interview him. He's full of shit. He's whatever. But everything you're saying makes sense. And all the research that I did prior to you coming in points to this ish works. And I personally first got it during COVID because my audience knows I just was not fully invested in the theory of COVID. After I got it the first time, I was fucking furious because mono is way worse and we shut the whole world down. So I started researching ways that people were, you know, helping their immune system so that they don't get it or if they do get it, they'll be better. And this was number one on the list. Did you know that? So let me share my own story. So December 2020, I came down with COVID. How did I know I had it? Uh, I lost smell for a month. It had never occurred to me in my whole life. And I was actually on my way to ski Jackson Hole, Wyoming. And I still went because I was like, I have to go. I have sovereign silver. I'm going to protect my immune system. I'm going to take it seven times a day. I'm going to take it as aggressively as possible. Um, I was traveling at the time with my girlfriend. She never caught it from me because, and that stuff is something you could share very easily. We're skiing at very high altitudes, low oxygen, strenuous exercise. So you'd think, well, why didn't I die? That was the case. I'm doing all the wrong things. I like to think of myself as being healthier. And I took so much silver because I know the value of it. And it's the only thing I took. Whoa. And skied for a week. While you had it? While I had it. Hmm. No smell. Whoa. You couldn't even smell the snow. That's really <laughs> good. I unfortunately gave it to Glenn Beck. I still feel bad about that because I had gone on his show right when I got it and I didn't know. Glenn's cool. He is cool. I wish I brought him. I'm going to gift him some. I'm going to send him some and be like, tell sorry. Him, tell him I, I would love to talk with him whenever, whenever. Good mind. He is a good mind. I think he'd really enjoy that. Hmm. I felt really bad about giving him COVID. I did. I didn't know I had it. Tell so, me about the copper. All right. So here's the cool thing about copper. So silver doesn't have an RDI, RDA. There's no recommended daily allowance. So the FDA doesn't, again, doesn't have anything for silver. But once you jump over to copper, there are. So copper is considered a normal part of the diet. Historically, copper is known for its anti-inflammatory properties. Historically, it's doing joints and bones. It's doing hair, skin, and nails. It's, it's uh, affecting your cardiovascular health and energy and metabolism. We want to stay supple and copper is a part of all of your hair, skin, nails, connective tissues, bones, joints, cardiovascular system. Everything requires copper. So you need it. 
Cool. I'm really stuck on you saying the word supple. It's a really good word. Supple. Supple. <laughs> Say it one more time. Supple. Supple. That was a lot of fun for me. When I win a pickleball tournament, we're gonna we're gonna do an official sovereign copper <laughs> uniform. I'm gonna like wear a full copper. I'm designing it in my head as we talk right now, but okay, we're gonna make that happen. That's exciting. Can we do a shot of silver? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. I want to prove to everybody I don't turn blue right here on the show. Well, let's just do this. Let's nice. take one for you. Thank you. Thank you. So watch this. You're gonna teach your audience how to take this. So what you're seeing here, well, we're gonna pretend we're in college, okay? Back in college. Probably did these a lot, right? Oh yeah. Uh, <laughs> you were underage. You were under no, but yeah. Canada's 18 and older, right? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> um, so it's a teaspoon. Okay. We're gonna take it, we're gonna put it in our mouth, hold it under the tongue for 30 seconds and swallow. And that's Okay, wait, why are we holding it under our tongue? Because that's oh, good question. That's how it absorbs into the bloodstream and lymphatic system. That's how it goes systemic. Mm. Right? So it means if you did that with alcohol, you'd get drunk or fast. So just, hey, oh, cheers. cheers. You got to cheers and then cheers. tap it on the table. And there then up. Yeah, you, you hey. are a pro. You are a pro. Done. Is that, now tell me, does that taste bad? No. Exactly. It tastes Was like it, water. Like with a spell stir? You know, you know what kids say? What? It's magic water. Check this out. This is a great story. Let's just say you have a... That's a great way to preface a story. Isn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, let's say you have your cat, all right? And let's just say it was something was wrong with it, okay? And you said, okay, let me let me put silver, a little drinking water with silver in it over here on the left versus it's regular just drinking water. Which one do you think it goes to every time when it's sick? Oh my gosh, the silver water. That is That's such right. a cool experiment. You know why? Because it v obviously must vibrate at a different frequency and they know it just like animals know to eat grass when they're not feeling well. Wow. Not, not us. We're like, dun, 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 dun. like what's going on? Over we here? think too yeah. much. Or we don't think. Mm, animals just <laughs> feel. That's a really cool study. We should tell the <laughs> FDA about that one. We need to get you back in uh, high school and, you know, redo that, redo that. The test? <laughs> I would, I would love science fair. It was one of my favorite things yeah, ever. I had a blast too. I always won. I did. Nice. They were surprised every time. I know that you guys have a throat spray coming out in the fall which is very good timing for cold and flu season. So we're actually bringing out a, a homeopathic uh, silver throat spray. It's going to be for all things to soothe a sore throat and minor inflammation in the throat. It's just going to be, and under homeopathic medicine, you'll say exactly what it can do. You guys are the ghostbusters of the medicine cabinet. Pretty much. Who are we going to call? Sovereign Silver. Yes. <laughs> I'm really glad you play along. It's fun. <laughs> My coffee drinkers, as you guys know, I've talked about this before. If you drink coffee, I love coffee. I love coffee. We love coffee. If you are drinking a lot of coffee, then you're kind of putting your immune system under some stress. And this could be a nice little supplement for my coffee drinkers is what I'm saying. You know, just, I don't want to like be like, take away your vice. I'm never going to say that to you guys. Cause you'll be like, F you, Nicole. If you're one of those people that want to over caffeinate, then maybe, you know, some of this to even it out back in with its friends. It looks nice. This looks nice. Great. Is there anything else that you can think of that you want to touch on? Nicole Arbor's audience just needs to take control of their lives. And this is one of the tools that's going to really open their minds as to what's what, what the possibilities are. I really like that. I really agree. My, my audience does need to take, take control of their <laughs> lives and their health. And that was such a go fucking team thing to say. That makes me... That makes me very happy. All right, so where can we find Sovereign Silver? SovereignSilver.com is our website. That's S-O-V-E-R-E-I-G-N Silver, S-I-L-V-E-R.com. I'm so glad he spelt it. <laughs> can I please give my audience a discount code? Hell yeah. Yeah, okay, uh, let's make it Arbor 20, 20% 20 off. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, unfortunately you don't sell snake oil. But you do sell an amazing product that is helping tens of thousands of people, well, millions of people now. And I really enjoyed having you on the show. It's been a blast. Thank you for having me. Yeah. If you guys want to try it yourselves, go to SovereignSilver.com. And don't forget to use the code ARBOR, A-R-B-O-U-R, 20 at checkout. You'll get 20% off your entire cart. Hey. I just decided that that's our discount. So let's make it happen. You might as well stock up now while you have the code. Get the pet, get the kids, get the... All nasal. of the things, the nasal, the sprays, the things, um, your tampon dipper. What? <laughs> I'm not going to judge what you do with your silver. And as always, go, go team. team. Yeah. Oh, this awesome. was awesome. Theo's cool, guys. No, not selling any <laughs> snake oil at all. Now where am I going to get my snake oil?
Hero? I feel good. Hey, that's fun.